Girls Aloud star Sarah Harding's legacy could see over £1 million donated to charities after the band's reunion. The singer died from breast cancer in 2021, aged 39. But she is still entitled one-fifth of the band's profits made from concerts, TV appearances and merchandise until 2032, reports The Mirror. Sarah's portion of the money will from the reunion, which is said to include a new single and tour, will go to her estate. This is then set to be donated to charitable causes, including the Sarah Harding Breast Cancer Appeal, launched by the Christie Charity. A source told The Mirror, Sarah's estate is set for a huge boost from the reunion, which is only right seeing as it was Sarah's tragic passing that brought the band back together. The existing deal, registered with the Intellectual Property Office, protects one-fifth of her profits on all girls' allowed goods until 2032. Cheryl Tweedy, Nicola Roberts, Kimberly Walsh and Nadine Coyle this week reunited professionally for the first time in more than a decade. The group was seen at a North London studio, recording a video dressed in Wonder Woman-style costumes. Girls Aloud split in March 2013 after a 10th anniversary tour, two number one albums and 21 top 10 singles. At the time, Nadine said the rest of the band had not consulted her about it and Cheryl told Attitude magazine Nadine was full of S. Sarah's cancer diagnosis three years ago is said to have put things into perspective for the band. Since her death, the stars have raised more than £1.2 million in her name. The source added, Everyone was so upset by Sarah's passing, it formed a bond that has made the band stronger than ever. Sarah was diagnosed with advanced breast cancer after finding a lump in 2020 and being reluctant to seek treatment. A mastectomy and chemotherapy failed to halt the disease.